Good afternoon, Blender Conference. I'm Luigi Verri. And I'm Daniele De Luca. And the work that uh, we want to present today is uh, the production of a video. Uh, this video is made in collaboration with the University of California of Santa Cruz. The subject of the video is uh, Isabella Deste and her studiolo. Isabella Deste was uh, the Marquise of Mantua. She was a great woman of the Italian Renaissance. Uh, the professor Deanna Shemek researched Isabella's life and created the project Isabella Dest Archive to collect music, letters, and uh, documents, artworks of this woman. The goal of uh, our short movie is to promote our collaboration with uh, the University of Santa Cruz, showing how computer graphics can support cultural heritage by providing tools for researchers and for communications. As an example, one of our first activities was to rebuild Isabella Studiolo and uh, return in their original position the many artworks that today still uh, exist, but uh, they are dispersed, scattered in many different museums and collections. Enjoy the movie. split in two parts. The second parts that you are seeing are the credits, actually. And um, we are doing this because uh, in uh, this part we want to show 
to demonstrate to potential founding agencies what can be achieved with computer graphics if uh, the, the project was founded. And uh, what com cultural heritage, how cultural heritage could be empowered by computer graphics. So um, the possibilities are limitless, like immersive virtual reality, or uh, like these are fakes, but just to get the sensation of that. And um, both for researchers and communication, because they're asking for uh, tools for the scholars to study inside the studio, to study um, the collection placed in their, in their original um, belonging place. So um, in the second part of the presentation, we want to show you how we did it, how was the making of the whole production. But first, um, even before the production, we should go with the pre-production phase, which is important. Uh, we started from a 2D animatic, which uh, was uh, yeah, done by, by hand. And uh, we remixed a soundtrack, open source soundtrack, because uh, we want to fit the shots as you, have, as you have seen with the movie, really close shot with the soundtrack. And um, with, those, with those two steps, in the meantime, we are working with uh, copyrights. Because if you haven't worked with uh, cultural heritage stuff, uh, you know that everything that is uh, elaborated or seen or showed need to be um, right, uh, need to have the right permission. You need to ask permission for everything. So we will show how well, we made, made the making of a short breakdown of some of the things that you have seen, starting from the letters. Those are, um, has, uh, an historical value, huge historical value, but mm, even more, the historical information that Isabella wrote in his entire life, 28,000 letters, gives us uh, Isabella's perspective uh, of uh, her life. So he, she met Leonardo da Vinci, uh, she met really great personalities in the um, Europe of the Renaissance, and the whole of this, we know all of this by this, uh, huge quantity, this archive of letters. And uh, so the incipit of our video is a writing of a new letter. The dynamic paint generation is obtained uh, by using some paint brushes with a strange shape of a spider and a uh, shader node tree uh, to reveal slowly the letter text uh, when the ink drop uh, it uh, the paper. The next part that you have seen is the vortex. And uh, from the letters, we know uh, how the studiolo, how the personalities, how the friends of Isabella is. So we thought to generate the studiolo from an explosion <coughs> of letters. Uh, to do this, we started from the actual scanning of the letters in the, um, from the archive, front back letters. And uh, we animated them uh, manually at first for three letters to have more control and uh, to mix it uh, uh, in this um, one cut uh, sequence. And after that, we join it with uh, uh, ascending letters, particle system, a vortex, particle system, and then exploding ones. This, those uh, three um, and more um, <coughs> collateral particles are, are, um, are keyed particle system with the timing to match it with uh, uh, the music that is uh, flowing. Okay. The Studiolo, once generated, uh, it is easy to, to see it, but to generate it, we took uh, more than 500 uh, pictures per room, because there are two rooms, the Studiolo and the Grotta. Uh, those two rooms, called uh, also Camerini in Italian, are um, uh, small, but we achieved to have uh, two really big uh, photo scan models, uh, more than 10 million vertices per model. Per model. So we, uh, after that, we are uh, switching to Blender and go with the heavy optimization 
mostly done in Blender. This uh, is achieved by manual decimation, automatic decimation, a combination of the two. But after that, we have, seen, we have seen that also the texts are giant and not well optimized by the photogrammetry program. So we manual unwrap some surfaces and re-optimize the texture space to get the better we can with uh, less and more cheap to calculate textures. Uh, the particularity in this case, as we've seen, is that uh, the models from the photogrammetry, not optimized, are well managed with, by cycle. Once you switch to cycle, after the BVH uh, stock of the vertices in the, in the memory, you can fly through the model in a, in a smooth way, a really smooth way, even better than in the viewport. And this is really cool. So for photogrammetry purposes, I, um, I suggest to switch to Blender to see the best of the rendering uh, yeah, appealing uh, and turn, it on, turn on cycle to see your, your models. Yeah, the next thing that we have seen are the paintings. The paintings that flows through the whole studiolo and are cur um, currently um, based upon uh, the original setup, of course, and uh, it um, explores the chronological storytelling of uh, the painting history and the, narrator, the narration by generating them from left to right, of course. Thus, uh, those paintings are generated by um, cycle animated shaders with proxies that allows the director to control when the, pa when the painting reach a certain level and to yeah, uh, manage all the shots with the same paintings and to go back and forth with the generation. The floor tiles. For the floor tiles, we have these ceramic tiles originally uh, found in France, I think, and then um, we want to generate it in a wavy style, but we are in a hurry, as always, with this kind of project, so we thought uh, last year there is one guy who was presenting animation nodes, and then um, this thing uh, looked like perfect for uh, motion graphics and this kind of, of things. We started digging in animation nodes, and we found the Archimator, which is uh, a script pre-made, a preset of script uh, that are inside animation nodes. Uh, <coughs> and uh, you can personalize it for your purposes. So we managed to do this easily and to generate yeah, the floor. So what about the uh, art collection? The art collection's 3D models are <coughs> philologically low correct. An example for Maiolicas, for Maiolicas, Maiolicas plates in particular, we simulated the Renaissance um, creation method, the Renaissance workflow, starting with uh, little holes uh, on the paper, uh, then painting through the holes on the Maiolica, and finally uh, coloring them before putting them in the oven. All, all the objects are enlightened with a HDR environment uh, texture made from the Studiolo model. On the ceiling of the grotta, you can see there, uh, Isabella wanted a stave. Uh, the stave is called Il Silencio, the silence in English. The same stave is on, the Maiolica's play, on a Maiolica's plate of Isabella collection. So we thought to a morph animation from the seal to plate. To do that, we hand sculpted the ceiling to match the end painted plate. And we control the animation through some uh, shape keys. One of the final part, the portrait. So this one is a um, cool work because we integrated a model made by um, using Make Human, which I didn't uh, use before, but is quite straightforward. So we take the female model of Make Human and match it to resemble as much as possible uh, with the currently available tools in Make Human. After that, we switch to Blender and we rigify with fine-tuned the position and the, um, and the orientation. But after that, we need even more resemblance, so we sculpted uh, in, the final, in the final phase and uh, projection, projection painted so the, the model will, be, will fit the actual portrait by Tiziano. 
And um, yeah, uh, it's visible uh, only from few perspective. If you are turning it a little bit off, uh, it will be an Halloween mask, but it fits the needs that we have. After that, there is this request by the, um, by the university to fold a letter in teeny tiny piece of papers with the other papers that are folding, and we are, yeah, yeah okay, uh, okay. This is the simple scheme that we, they provided us. Uh, after you understand it, it's quite simple, and then um, we thought to resolve this by modeling another letter, identical to the first, but with another geometry that will, uh, that then uh, we have rigged uh, for this only purpose to make the folding correctly and uh, as they uh, requested. The last thing that we want to yeah, share to you is the ceiling walks that uh, came from actually, yeah, uh, walks parameters uh, with um, physically correct viscosity from a physics table you can search online. So the basis and exponent are correct and Blender will manage it easily. So the, um, there is this wax simulation with drops falling. Then we, we have freeze this simulation to do some manual animation with sculpt and shape keys to continue slowly the modeling. And after that, uh, stack of modifier, like sub subdivision surface, decimation, and um, displacement, of course, uh, impress the seal. This is the actual Isabella seal, even um, captured from the letter and recreated for this purpose. In the end, here there are some numbers, some technical detail of our work. And uh, as you can see, the whole pipeline is based on Blender. And for sure, we want to thank all the crew that uh, work at this project. Uh, we hope that you guys enjoyed this fast forward making of. Thank you.